Hello viewers, welcome again to our session. We did introduce uh, responsible sexual behaviors and we said what uh, the responsible sexual behaviors are. We just named a few of them. Now we are going to the details of the responsible sexual behaviors. Now remember, in our previous class, we did look at incest. We said incest, this is a relationship, a sexual relationship between um, uh, those members of a uh, closely related by blood. For example, father and mother, mother and, it's not father and mother, father and uh, daughter, right? Mother and, uh, and son, grandfather and granddaughter, grandmother and grandson, all those family related uh, uh, cousins, good. Now today we'll get to another sec uh, a second irresponsible sexual behavior, which is fornication. Now class, what do we expect by the end of the session? We do expect that we are able to stay the effects of uh, 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 fornication as a responsible sexual behavior. Now what is this uh, fornication? What is fornication, right? So now this is the sexual intercourse between unmarried people. The consexual sexual intercourse between unmarried people, right? Now it is condemned by both African and Christian teachings and there is punishment that is clearly outlined in the traditional African society. That is why boys and girls were not allowed to mix in the traditional African society because most definitely they could fornicate. Good. Now in the Old Testament, uh, men were forced to marry the girl. So if you, if you fornicate, right, in the Old Testament, the person you fornicated with you are forced to marry. Right? Now, what, are the, what does Jesus teach on fornication? Right? Now, Jesus said that fornication, it was due to the people's evils. Sorry, the, the, the people's evil thoughts. What you are thinking. Right? If you, if, 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 if you, if you are passing, right? And you get a beautiful lady just passing by, right? You get to admire her, right? Then what, what do you think you lead to? Right? And you are not married. It's fornication. It's, so it's a result of your thoughts. And those are evil thoughts. That, is, that, is, that's a, uh, that brings a result of fornication. Now, in traditional African society, and also even in Christian teaching, right? Abstinence for the youth is encouraged and preached. Look at the church seminars. Right? The youth seminars that are held in church, they teach of uh, abstinence. Right? Until you are duly and respectfully married. Now, what do you think the youth get to engage in premarital sex? Right? One, there's sexual curiosity, right? For, for, exam for example, for boys, for boys, sexual curiosity, what takes place, right? During sex, what, te what takes place? So that's sec sexual curiosity, they want to learn, mostly in the youth. They look at manhood, right? Pro proving manhood. Right? In the youth, they get, to, they get to prove they are men enough, right? And mostly, mostly in boys, right? In, in their groups, they get to prove their manhood, right? They get to narrate their, sex sto their sexual stories, what takes place, right? Look at that, the, pro the issue of proving manhood and also human weakness. And in human weakness, this is where uh, self-control comes in and self-respect. If you don't have self-control, you don't have self-respect, what do you think will take place? Get to engage in premarital sex. Talk of testing fertility, right? Fear of being uh, yielded or rejected. And that is why most men, in fact 90% of men before going into marriage, right? They have to test their fertility, right? Outside the wedding, right? So that's why you get, we have got uh, men out there who have got babies, but they have not married the, 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 the ladies, root. So they get to test their fertility. Are they fertile? Can they, they, can, 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 they, can they fertilize? Same to girls, right? Are we fertile? Can we, can, can we conceive? Good. And also, uh, another cause is commercial sex for money. This is where commercial, uh, commercial sex workers comes in. You've got a number, a number of causes also, the issue of frustration, the issue of uh, drug abuse, bribe to get a job, maybe you've gone to an office and you're a lady, you get your boss is a, is, is a, is a man, 
right? So you get you get to bribe, right? The man with sex and, and uh, get the job. Talk of per permissiveness in the society among those other among those other causes. Now I'll give you an assignment. I'll give you an assignment. I'll give you an assignment. And the assignment is on uh, on your screen. You get to, to, to go through effects of fornication, right? I won't go through them, right? That is your assignment. Can we get to look at, uh, get to effects of fornication? What causes? Go so go through those notes and get get to understand what are some of the causes of fornication. And for a second assignment, what are some of the causes of fornication? We have just mentioned a few. And always contact us via contact address. Right, YouTube, watch our, watch, our, watch our YouTube, watch our lessons, Elimu TV, YouTube channel, Facebook, Elimu TV, uh, Twitter at Elimu TV underscore Kenya, and also our SMS contact line on your screen. Get to contact us and let us hear your feedback.